Hello everybody, welcome to iExamly, MDC iExamly learning experience. In this video, we are going to talk about SEBI IT 2025 exam. We are starting a new batch from 30th of November for preparation of SEBI IT exam. Now in this paper in phase 1, you have IT subjects, computer subjects and in phase 2, you have coding. While the eligibility allows every big tech candidate to appear for this exam. So whether you are BTEC in civil engineering, mechanical engineering, IT, aeronautical engineering, any kind of BTEC, you are eligible to appear for SEBI IT exam. Your age should not have exceeded 30 years as on the cutoff date. And it is clearly stated bachelor degree in engineering in any branch or bachelor degree in any discipline with postgraduate degree, which is of two years post graduation in computer science, computer application, information technology. This is the eligibility. Now the question arises. If you are a BTEC in civil, or mechanical or any other stream which is non-ITCS and you haven't been exposed to coding at all in your life, at all in your graduation, then how you can appear for this exam? So this new batch can answer that question for you. In this batch, we are going to have dedicated classes for IT subject and for coding as well. With your dedication, hard work and with our guidance, you can prepare for SEBI IT 2025. Let's have a quick look at the exam pattern. In phase one, you have two papers. Paper one is your quant reasoning, English and GA. Paper two is your IT stream paper in which you will have 50 questions of 100 marks. In paper one, you will have 80 questions. Paper two, 50 questions. I have already discussed the details of cutoff criteria in my earlier video. So refer to that, which is discussing the complete details of SEBI IT 2025. The syllabus of phase one is also clearly defined. These are all the topics that you have to study. Now, I'm again saying if you are non-CSIT BTEC graduate, then you may have a little bit of difficulty in understanding these topics. And that is why we are going to start basic classes, which will be discussing all these topics relevant to the exam. Then in phase two, you have two papers. Paper one is descriptive English and paper two is your coding paper in which you have to write codes in either of the language, C++, Java, Python. So here you will have to spend time in order to understand coding so that you can clear the exam in next year. You will have to attempt six questions in coding out of the given nine. There are four simple questions of 10 marks each out of which you have to attempt three. There are three questions of medium level of 20 marks each out of which you have to attempt two. And there are two questions of high level out of which you have to attempt one. So six questions out of nine have to be attempted in coding. You have to run various test cases. You have to clear those test cases on the Pariksha platform, which is shared by SEBI. In phase two, this is the syllabus from which you can expect codes. 30 marks codes will be from algorithms, 40 from data structure, 10 from string manipulation, and 20 marks questions will be from OOPS concepts, object-oriented programming. These are the concepts from which you can expect the questions. You have to be prepared with these topics, and this is where this batch can help you in your preparation. This is your SEBI IT live class schedule, the new batch which is starting from 30th November. You can download this from the description and check out the various details how the classes are scheduled. Your phase one paper one which is quant reasoning, English and GA, the classes are conducted on a regular basis. QRE classes are daily from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. For general awareness, there are two classes every week. Then for descriptive English, there is one class every week. And these will be your IT classes. Every week, there will be two IT classes. One will be based on the concepts, on the topic and theory. Another will be based on programming. Monday will be reserved for your concepts. And on Thursday, there will be corresponding related practice of programming. So in this way, every week, you'll be able to cover certain topics. And this class plan goes up to five to six months. So in five to six months, you will be able to have an understanding of basics of IT concepts and an understanding of basic of coding. Along with these classes, you will also have to practice on your own. You will also have to refer to various programs. And for that, you can use the lead code platform. As of now, Pariksha platform will not be available. It's usually available near the exam. So right now, you can use lead code platform to run your codes, to check out how you are performing, to get variety of questions after the topic has been discussed in the class. So you can go through this class plan. You can see how the classes are scheduled. If you have any queries, any doubts, you can write them down in the comment below. You can also reach out to us on this number. Over the past three years, many students have become SEBI IT officer under our guidance. 
you can refer to their success stories you can listen to their strategies and incorporate them in your preparation and see how you can get into sebi as an it officer enroll with i exam b and make your preparation 50% faster thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to our channel stay tuned